Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This reading is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. This is an extra reading because the other one was on low volume on YouTube and I didn't realize that. Okay, where you're at, Memories of Love. What's crossing you is harmony. Okay. So we got some mental conflict going on here. Uh, this is what's crossing you. This is your challenge. Peace and harmony distant past trapped in fear now remember to take this how it resonates if it doesn't resonate it might be for the viewer cross watcher so like I said you got you, you can't make the energy fit if it don't so this is a solar plexus chakra this is what's coming online for you right now it's your attachment to spirit so you're definitely having some sort of an awakening right now in the immediate future, we got stand your ground. Factors affecting the situation. You may literally be moving. But it's a positive. A positive move. A pos positive movement forward in whatever it is that you're doing right now. Outside influence is a spiritual union. You know it to be so. Your hopes or fears is that firm foundation. Is it going to be enough? Do we have enough? Are we going to survive? That's either a hope or a fear. And then I have a disruption here. And is that what I think it says? Hold on. No, uh, it's 916. I don't know why I'm seeing 911 on this reading. But for some reason, I'm getting 911. Anyway, so maybe that's a warning for whatever this disruption is. Because this is a tower. Maybe this is the person that you're dealing with. Suffering in silence. But that's going to be disrupted. One way or another. See, this is where what is not true will not stay. Period. Point blank. What is not true will not stay. Especially when you lock up with spirit. And your solar plexus is online. Because spirit won't allow you anything to stay that isn't real. What did I just say? Five of Pentacles, Gemini, Nine of Cups. What somebody's wish was here was the other one's loss. Alright? But I feel like I I feel like Scorpio, you're, you're kind of the one that did the ghost in here. It gave you a headache. Although it was what you wanted. Was it really? I mean... Was it really? I don't know. I feel like Scorpio's the one doing the ghosting though. Possibly to a Gemini. Let's see what this harmony card's all about. What is this harmony card all about, Spirit? Birds in the hair, choices, 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 choices. <laughs> I'm out. Somebody's running from this situation because it confuses the hell out of them. They get too many choices. 
for work and possibly love. There's too many choices here and it's got somebody got got birds in their hair. Running off of pain instead of, you know, what is a possibility. There is a possibility here. But you have to be able to see it. You got birds in your hair, you can't see it. <laughs> Just saying. If you screw up you. I think you're just concentrating on work right now so you don't have to deal with that muck. But you, you, you aren't sure what to do about it. It does still make you feel like you got birds in your hair. Just saying. Stand your ground in the immediate future. Hold the line, warriors. Hold the line. Let's see. I guess it wanted me to bring all those out. Give me, give me. Wait. Stand your ground and wait. Just pick those up. Wrong <laughs> ways. Oops. Queen of Swords. Page of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Knight of Cups, Seven of Wands, The Sun and the Four of Wands. You got incoming. I'm just saying, I don't know who, this is a new person. You're sitting in the Queen of Swords in very, very guarded energy. This is a new opportunity or a new person coming in and it's something you really, really want. I think somebody chose you, Scorpio, over other people. Over a lot of other people. And like I said, this could be a job. I got spiritual union there. And I got the Four of Wands, the Sun, the Seven of Wands, the Knight of Cups. The immediate future, hold out for what you're worth. And you'll get it. I think your last, your last reading, I think, had Abracadabra in it. I'm not sure. I'll have to look back on it. See what I said. I need to rename that one Abracadabra because I do feel like you are being basically the magician in your life right now changing this into this and that is downright badass <laughs> yeah that is not just awesome that is badass badassery in the making okay what is this positive mo movement forward spirit Well, there may be a disappointment here. I'm not going to lie. So, But I do feel like you're moving on from whatever that disappointment was. And here comes this page of cups who wants to play. And Empress, I think you're going to take them up on it. I think you're going to go on some kind of trip with this person. There could be an age difference. I'm getting that a lot with, with Pisces and Scorpio these days. I think you're going to decide, look at this card, to go on a trip with this person. Cross seas? Or this person is coming across seas to see you? You them? I don't know. Something's going on here. Some kind of traveling. Or an empress, no less. An empress who ain't really feeling herself right now. Which is, you know, I mean, if that's what it takes to go out and have some fun and 
enjoy whatever company you got, then by all means, go have fun. There's definitely something coming in your immediate future that is going to soften up that hard shell you got going on there. Wow, the hanged man. So, you know who this person is, Scorpio. And again, I'm going to say abracadabra because now we got spiritual union. I've got Leo, Aquarius, uh, somebody being strong enough to heal themselves or... From some dumb fuckery. So, I feel like here, Scorpio, I, I feel like you don't know where the roads are going. You're just out. You're just dipping out. Leo, Aquarius energy. This is Leo. This is, we're we're going into Leo season at the at the end of July. Okay, so Leo to a wish come true or a healing that needs to take place. Somebody dipping out. The ten of one, seven of swords. Okay, strength, star, seven of swords. Okay. Then we have the Ten of Wands and the Moon. So what well, look at look at the way the Ten of Wands and the Moon are, are kind of facing each other. With that with that I'm getting that you're just out. You're packing your shit, you're leaving, you don't know where you're going, but you're gone. You're having the strength to go after what you want. Somebody's just dipping here. They're out. Could be somebody you're dealing with. It doesn't have to be you. Alright. Let's see what uh, this firm foundation is. I don't want to find out what the real deal is there. Cards are coming out all, all, all upside down and shit. I'm not going to argue with them. Usually I, I don't like reading reversals, but I guess spirit ain't leaving me any choice. Okay, so we got a king of wands in reverse, a knight of pentacles in reverse, a two of cups upright, and a fool. So, if you're ho hoping that this person is your person, if it's a king of wands, most likely you're fooling yourself. I don't see this as a, as a brand new beginning, but I definitely see it as a risk. So, if you're planning on moving in with this person, know that there's a risk involved, a huge one. Because what's on the surface might not be what's underneath. I don't know why I'm being told to tell you that. Like I said, you guys might be two totally different people. I mean, different scales of, uh, of the vibration. Different scales of beliefs and structures. and Could even be, like I said, um, age difference. Could be a culture difference. There's definitely a huge, especially vibrationally, there's a huge mismatch here. And I feel like it's something that you did want at one time. And it's showing up on your doorstep and you're like, I don't know what to do with this. I'm past this. I don't have to, do, you know, I'm past this.
Nine Pentacles. I think you're about to shock somebody there, Scorpio. King of Swords. Did have Gemini here. And a King of Pentacles. And juggling. And somebody walking away from the juggling. Got Capricorn here in my hand. But someone's just out there just done. And what seemed like the Two of Cups. It feels like somebody came and took your cup and then poured it out and then expected you to stay. I don't know what that means. I got a King of Swords and Eight of Cups, Two of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, and a Devil here. So there's a codependent situation on money. So it might, like I said, this could be a job and, and this is somebody's boss and they're walking away from it. They're walking away from juggling two different energies, the air energy and the pentacle energy. And they're just walking. They're just, I'm out. I got the truth. Now I'm out. Juggling money with the devil. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. What is this, uh, what is this offer that's coming towards my Scorpio? It's good news, so can't be, can't be that bad. There's that Aquarius, the shtick. Uh, yep, can't make it up. Page of Cups, this is the same thing that's affecting the whole situation. You're about to get some wanted or unwanted attention, Scorpio. Nine, nine. Those are my glasses. I wonder why I gotta buy a pair, new pair every couple weeks. Um, I got Aquarius, Pisces energy here. And the stick in the middle. The Ace of Wands in the middle. Okay? So there's a brand new beginning taking place here. With what looks to be solid. What you know to be solid. But I think you're approaching it from a Nine of Wands. This person sees you holding on to that last wand with everything you've got because it's all you got. So I think they want to come in and help you heal. I think you guys have pretty much, I mean, if we're at the sacral chakra or the solar plexus, you guys have pretty much healed the sacral, which means that you are no longer in this codependent energy where you depend on somebody else to make dinner every night, you know, kind of energy. I think you're past that. You're in the solar plexus. You're connecting to spirit. Therefore, you are seeing the blessings as they come to you, although you've been hurt, although you've been let down and, and slightly in your head too much you see these blessings coming towards you and, and, you, and you are embracing them. You're walking into the unknown. You ever seen Frozen 2? Into the unknown. <laughs> We're going to see what this moon card's about. If Spirit will give me any information. One more. Ah! <laughs> Mr. Congeniality. Um, there's the truth. There's a big yes. If 
you had any guesses about who this person was that disappointed you, that you waited on. I got 3-3 three, three here. Divine Masculine or an Aries, King of Wands. There could be two of them, Scorpio. I'm seeing you having an awful lot of options here. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, you know, talking to everybody and then going them out. <laughs> kind of like making them wait for you now as opposed to you waiting for them. Now they be waiting on you and disappointed because you ain't. There might, there's more than one there's more than one suitor here Scorpio you got lots of people coming to get you and they're disappointed because you ain't reacting you ain't reacting to their bullshit it's like <clears throat> I don't want to say this in the in the most compassionate way I can because I've been there babies I know exactly how you feel but I'm gonna say this as, as compassionately as possible you ate a cups in everybody's ass enough of that shit already okay enough of that shit already three of wands three of pentacles yeah yeah, I know I got to maybe work with that ass, but uh, that's going to be it. And in the meantime, you got somebody trying to tell you what to do. That's what you're doing in return. You're giving them the middle finger and you're walking off. Wishing a bitch would. It's almost like whatever this is here. It sets you free and it's allow it allows you to move again I don't know what that means let's see what this uh, king of wands in reverse is about because we just had the king of wands upright there's that trip again guys I don't know what this trip is, but it... I got Leo and Sagittarius here now. With that King of Wands in reverse. There, there are a couple of different fire signs here. And they're coming in trying to be fair to you now. They see you now. They see the love that you gave with that Queen of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Strength and Temperance. All she did, all she wanted was love. And balance and I think somebody's ready to offer you that now six of swords twice somebody's ready to offer you something now that they weren't ready to offer before maybe you guys aren't even you just know each other I don't know I'm almost, I'm almost feeling like this is a work thing, but it might not be. Yeah. I feel like you're in a five of cups, everybody. It's not enough. It's not enough to make up for your loss. And I think you're going to keep your options open. Earn success. Again with the chariot. There's that abracadabra. 
knew it. You're going to pull a disappearing act. Very, very quickly, I might add. You're about to get a message. Could be from a cancer. But I feel like abracadabra, poof, I'm gone. You got the five of pentacles, the seven of pentacles. You wait might be waiting on some money or collecting some money very quickly jumping on your horse on the chariot to ride away into the sunset and you got a message native wands that's, that's trying to come in and when your heart but you're too busy you're getting so much attention from all these other people that you're not even looking at this person it's like it's like they text you or whatever and you're like hey eh. And then you move on. Because you're going so fast. From the five of pentacles to the six of wands. I mean this is fast, fast energy. Fast, fast energy. Whatever you're working on right now. You know who this is. And you said, nope, not today, Satan. I gotta go over here. And this this kind of goes along with that one reading, I, the, the road less traveled. You're, you're gonna go down a road that, you, that you're not used to being on, Scorpio. But it, it, is it a stable path? absolutely I mean what you're leaving behind is so much less than what you're going towards I hope that makes sense whether you're by yourself or not I don't see you being by yourself I see people chasing you I see at least two people chasing you Possibly a Leo and a Sag. Okay, the ring, ringmaster of scrutiny. Divine guidance, higher knowing. So yeah, you know who these people are that I'm talking about, regardless of, of what it is, work or whatever wise. You're going in for the win. You're going in for the kill. You don't even, it, it, it's, it's like, here. Take that. I gotta go by. <laughs> I mean, that is that quick. That quick. Yeah, we got the ringmaster of scrutiny in reverse. So let's see what that says. All right. So this came in as a challenger. It's discernment, clear vision, and details. All right. So this says, when the ringmaster of scrutiny appears as your challenger, he wants you to observe and observe your situation with discernment and clarity. It's time to see the flaws in the foundation you and others have built under you. It also seems that you may be getting caught up in the middle of the details of your dream without real without when really sorry my bad my eyes it's time to leave them to the divine perhaps you're worrying about the past and the future too much forgetting that the dream is created in the now time other often the ringmaster's scrutiny also brings a warning To read the fine print and watch for hidden agendas when you're involved with others, 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 others. Don't worry. Whatever your current challenge, things can be resolved as soon as you cultivate detachment and trust that the details will be taken care of once you turn them over to the divine. The universe has an uncanny way of self-correcting when you get out of your own way. Boy, am I guilty of that. Um, 
So this is a common let go and let God kind of read. And I think you're doing that, Scorpio. I think you're doing exactly what your soul is leading you to do. You're kind of just letting it go and leaving it up to the divine and enjoying your life in the moment, in the now. And that's your win. That, that right there is a win. Whether, you know, you might feel a little confused about what's going on in the world and whatnot. But your win is being stable throughout chaos. Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news to someone out there, but it looks like your spouse might be going to jail for something they do for a living. Yeah, I mean, I've got marriage, high honor, occupation, imprisonment, toil and labor, and false person. So somebody might lie on your person here. And get them in a lot of trouble. Maybe even some jail time. Unless you bail them out. Got three, three, four, three, three, eight. Okay. Whoever this person is, they're going to jail. You might be married to them, or were married to them, but because of what they do, I can't make it up, guys. Toil and labor, occupation. Imprisonment, because of a false person. Doesn't mean they did anything wrong means somebody lied and got them in trouble. Alright. I do feel like that devil is somebody who's obsessed with either you or another person that you're involved with. Now, if it's somebody that you're involved with, this is the other person. At least that part of it. Somebody's definitely... I, I'm hearing eating their words for what they did. I don't know what they did, but must have been rough eating their words. Um, so we got a keepsake here. We got remembering the past. Learning from the past. Letting that shit go. Making healthy choices. In love and in life. Self-care. And just when you do that. Engagement. Partnership. Commitment. Completion. Unity. Stabbed in the back. Heartbreak. Pain. Separation. Shocking attack. So, yeah. Somebody's spouse here or a third party is trying to sabotage a relationship. Now this might be somebody that you just met, okay? I'm thinking, I'm feeling like y'all are making healthy choices and doing what you need to do. I feel like maybe you just met somebody that just went through all this and now they got a stalker. They got somebody chasing after them. Either that or you've got one. And they are chasing the hell out of you because you won't give them the time of day. Now, I, I don't know what that is for you. But I do have a Queen of Swords here. You may have Queen of Swords this person and walked away from them and said, Nah, nah, thank you. And it might have been dodging a bullet because it looks like somebody's going to go to jail for something that they did. Or something that they did for a living. I don't know what that means, guys. Let's get some messages from the shadows. 
the shadows. <sighs> wow, that was an intense reading. Aries. I don't really know you. Ditto. Taurus, I pretend you don't mean that much. I don't. Gemini, I'm not coming back. Cancer, I never want to feel that way again. Okay. Leo, I've been here before with others. I'll just bet you have. Virgo, I can still see you standing there. It's a mirage. Libra, I don't trust you. <laughs> Scorpio, thank you for leaving me. You're welcome. Sagittarius, you can't come with me. Capricorn, I understand you better now. See ya. Aquarius, my schizophrenic. I focused on my, on you instead of my pain. I'm schizophrenic and so am I. And Pisces, I know we have a soul connection. Very good chance of that. Now, you to everybody else is, I'm sorry, but what I'm, what I'm hearing with that, you know, you guys know I, I see things in, in comedy. I'm hearing, I'm sorry, Spanky, I have to live my own life. I don't know why that just came into my mind. But I'm probably going to name the video that because that, that is a perfect way to end this reading. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Please come to the live tonight at 7 o'clock. We're going to have some fun. We've got shit to talk about. Alright. Um, smash that like button. Subscribe. Share. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys tonight at 7. Take care. Three, three, three. Bye-bye now.